baskets was used before there was metal buckets, plastic buckets, whatever, because they could make them. They just went to the woods and collected the materials. Cannon County was a huge basket making area back in the early 1900s. The men made chairs and then the women made baskets. The Cannon County tradition became uh, one of the one of the two or three uh, basket making traditions in the United States that, uh, of, of any renown and, and recognizes one of those great American uh, art forms and craft forms. I wanted to learn how. I wanted to see something being made that you had a project when you got through. And I continued taking classes. Estelle Youngblood and Miss Gertie was the, to their teaching and they learned what a basket making from their parents and grandparents. So, baskets was my thing. You know, it's not just a simple process. It's worked so many times to get it exactly the way you want. You have to know your wood, you have to know what, what tree to choose, you have to know how to hold that and how to prepare it, and then also how to prepare the different elements that you use to create a basket. The more you do it, the more you understand, you can look at a piece of wood and understand how the grain's gonna break. Weaving time takes a lot of time, but then all of it takes a lot of time because when you go to the woods and cut the tree, you have to break it down. She's been doing baskets 35 years, and she pretty much lives baskets. Evidently, I'm doing something right. I feel good because I know I'm passing on the tradition. She became that bridge, and in that, really created the preservation that now she's teaching to other people. She's keeping it alive in that if she hadn't come here to do that class, I never would have realized that I had basket-making ancestors, that I enjoyed making the basket. Sue virtually single-handedly has preserved this craft. She's become a leader on a statewide level, she's become a leader on a regional level. The reality is she's the reason that the tradition goes moves on. I accept in memory of Miss Gertie Youngblood and Miss Mary Jane Prater. Thanks to all the people that believed in me, I am very pleased.